Hi guys, I'm just coming to you today just to give you a little bit of information in light of everything that's going on at the moment to make sure that you can um, have some tips on how to keep as mentally healthy as you can in this time. Um, there's a lot of uncertainty around at the moment um, and with uncertainty can um, come stress and anxiety and so um, you know whether it's that we're working um, or that we're isolating with other people or indeed by ourselves, there's going to be some kind of change and change can bring stress and anxiety and that's quite natural and, and it's something that we all will feel to some degree or other. So know that there's lots of people out there feeling that way but also that there is hope and things that we can do to make sure that we improve our mental health during this time. Um, because sometimes what we can find is that we get really highly anxious and feel like it is really difficult to manage any stress. And during that time, it might be that's because we're focusing on um, things that we can't control. Um, and so one of the things I want to do with you today is to help you to think about, OK, well, what is it that you're worrying about that you think that you can't control? and make a list of those things so maybe if you've got a piece of paper do it now write down a list of the things that you think you can't control and um, sometimes on that list will be things like uh, what other people have done um, you know uh, or their thoughts their feelings their behaviors um, or it might be things like the politics or the weather and actually, you might find that as you go down that list, there are things that you have absolutely no control over, but other things you might find, think, oh, well, actually, I've got a little bit of control over this. And that's what I want you to focus on. So the things that you really don't have any control over, scrub it off on your list, put it in the bin, whatever it is you want to do, shoot it off on a rocket in your head or in a balloon, you know, and know that they will come back and you can use the same method again, because that's quite normal. But I want you to then look and see on your list, are there things that you can? do something about so um i liken it a bit to the weather so you know we can't change the weather we can't control the weather but what we can do is control how we react to that so we might want to take out an umbrella if it's raining um so it's the same thing with anything on that list if you find that there's something on that list where you actually um can do a little bit about then please do do that and focus on that so for example it might be that we can't we can't know whether we're going to get ill or not but what we can do is just make sure that we're as safe as we can be so that we're following government guidelines and we're just doing what we can and so on that list by now then you should have the things that you really can't do anything about and usually that's stuff in the past or the future um and other people's behaviors but also you should you might have picked out the things that oh well, maybe I can do a little thing about that. OK, and then I want you to move on to the things that you can do something about. So maybe the things that you have a little bit of tighter control over. And usually these are things internal to us. So things like our thoughts, our feelings and our behaviours, how you know how we react to things and or how we behave. Um, and whilst we can't change or we don't have control over our thoughts or our feelings they ebb and they flow they come in and they come out what we do have control over is how we manage those thoughts and feelings so i want you to take a deep breath notice what you're thinking notice what you're feeling and then you can decide how you want to react to that so when you've written your list you might find that there are certain worries that come up um, you might find there are certain things that you can control in how you think and in how you behave. So it might be something around feeling calmer. So things that you can do to help yourself to feel calm, um, things that you can do to connect with other people, things that you can do to sort of make sure that you get on with other people if you're living in close quarters, um, you know, so you can help each other out to make sure that you live in as much harmony as you can do. So on that list, you should then have, you know, things that you can change. Um, plus, with the list of the things that you can change to a degree, you've then got a real focus on what you can do. So key takeaway today, guys, is that often we can feel anxious um, and stressed about change and uncertainty and worry about things that are outside of our control. So making sure that you've got a list of the things that you can't control 
and shooting it up in a rocket, scribbling it out, whatever it is, to just say, hey, you know, there's nothing I can do about this right now. Or you might see on that list that you've got things that you can do something about, in which case, focus on that. And then on the other side of the paper, you should have a list of the things that you can change about you in terms of how you think, in terms of how you behave towards yourself and other people. And then you can focus on those things. So I hope that's been helpful for you and that it helps you to really um, at least think about how you can take care of your own mental health during a time that can be very stressful and, and it is for everyone. Um, so all the best with that and, and take care.